Proper store is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. He gets up, sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Ground forms up under his feet as it pointing the way. He don't stop to wonder why. Finds his lifelong friend just lying in the road. Well, it's a touching reunion. He sees what's left of the rippling walls, years of work undone in an instant, in the calamity. That a survivor? No, ma'am. It's a gas fella, forced out from underground. Kid pops him good. Starts to feel his bruises, though. An old repeater falls out of the sky. Ain't a gift from the gods, but it'll have to do. Kid's worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Sometimes you just need a drink. Squirts tunnels up around them. Must have fled here from the mines. He sets foot inside one of Selandia's famous watering holes. Inside's old Rondi, the bartender. The calamity got him for his drinking did. Then Kid finds his trusty shield. Rondi always wanted his ashes scattered here. But just as he's getting a handle on it, the security takes him for a petty thief. Special delivery, gas hose. Windbags start turning up for last call. start coming out of the woodwork. A big old fella pops out in front of the kid. Them windbags are playing for keeps. sees the weight of the bastion out the window. He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow, and it ain't broke. Kid spies a good perch for some target practice. He knows he should draw the string all the way back. Kid pockets a memento from a breaker, once the fastest man in the land. Good news is the emergency defenses still work. Bad news is they're aiming for the kid. up a few pointers from a dusty old tome. 
He's a mighty fast learner. He finds the distillery right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. The arsenal's where the kid can pick the best tools for the job. One sip of the spirits in that distillery and the kid'll feel like a new man. Some of them squirts birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. Ferry barge sends the kid on his way. The bastion's real close now. It's a chunk of alloy. Smell of barley and spoiled blueberries fills the air. Scumbags. Kid maybe shouldn't have done what he just did. Rob's a scumbag of his last meal. Kid puts him out of his misery. finds the core to the wharf district. He steals the city's heart, might as well. Kid has a feeling he better get a move on. The place is starting to fall. See that core Kid took was the only thing making this particular rock stay afloat. Kid just keeps running. At 
last, the Skyway's in sight. Whisks him where it needs to go. Now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. We talk for a spell. There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest, enough to point the way to the cores. All I tell him is to set that core of his on the monument there, then watch. And just like that, the Bastion comes alive. Starts growing again, growing stronger. Kid's gotta put its power to good use. Now the Bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. Kid ponders what to build. Makes time to sample spirits from my personal supply. Cinder brick stout sure goes down smooth, then stays in your gut like a rock. Kid don't know what's out there waiting for him. The Skyway. Now the kid can ride the wind to distant lands. Breakers used to come here for target practice. Used to play a little game. See who could bust the most targets in the fewest shots. He's focused. He's armed. And he's off. Shot just happens in a flash. He returns with some of the materials we need. Ain't always much to say. Now he lands at the intersection between bad and wrong. Ought to be a core down one of these twisted streets. But which one? He heads for the squirt steps. Won't be no field trip this time. Scumbag can digest just about anything. Except for this, it's quick for slicing and light enough to throw.
They say even the most rambunctious squirts can be tame. No sign of the core here. At least the kid got something for his trouble. Squirts don't make the best of friends, but they can be useful at a pinch. Them squirts just don't know when to quit. Up north is where the gas fellow foreman used to live, tending to his flock. Gas fellas all dress alike. Kids wondering the same thing. And there it is. But it's locked down tight in an alloy cage. Blustery old foreman's keeping his fellas in check, almost like he's showboating for the crowd. And now there's a new marshal in town. Here's the whole place grown, but it's too tough to fall. Might as well check the other side streets before leaving this hole. He heads for the biggest dump in town, Scumbag Alley. Some scumbags still feeding off the city's own trash. And there he is. The oldest scumbag of them all. Gershel. Shame old Gershel can't float like when he was a young fella. The rest of the path is gone for good, and his city crest won't bring it back. He heads for the east side, where windbags used to keep the local forge. Somehow that old forge is still standing. Inside the forge, Key can fine-tune those instruments of his. With a good length of Mies gun, that bow's like new again. Kid's ready to go, and his ticket out's right where he started.
comes back, just like I knew he would. The core hums in his pack, the monuments calling for it. Kid does it again, only fair he decides what we build next. A lot of things need fixing up in this world, and we can start right here. The little Zolwood oil on that blade shines like a light. Windbags used to be all right. Then the calamity took the floor out from under him. Picked up traces of other cores while the kid was out. Couples used to walk the sundown path. Kid ain't here for pleasure, though. But then, somebody gets to the core before the kid. The floor starts giving way under the lightest step. A single panic squirt could bring the whole place down. Fragments of the old world reign from the sky. Well, the path ain't exactly open to visitors no more. Security's all fired up. Not so much for the noise and tomfoolery. Sky bridges link the path together. One of their bridges whips the kid along. Air travel always was an iffy proposition. The calamity changed everything, even where the wind blows. Well, if we mastered the winds in the old days, we can do it again. But the question is, Who else could have taken the core? Well, ain't no survivor stole the thing. Scumbag ate it by mistake. Tough break. On 
like the kid, that core ain't coming back. No, they used to ship live munitions down the path. Find time to find them. He's wise to toss those things plenty far away. Even gas fellas need some shut eye from time to time. They get real cranky. In all this toil, Kid keeps coming back to an overwhelming question. Who else could have survived the calamity? So he didn't find the core that time, but that ain't about to stop us. No place better than Trapper Shingle for learning to tread light and shoot straight. Trappers had to tread real carefully or else take a nasty fall. They train themselves by clearing out the targets while not clearing out the floor. Any good trapper knows never to take a step till the time is right. Most trappers couldn't get through without a few scrapes. A decent trapper wouldn't walk away empty-handed. To think a rickety place like the shingle survived, and so little else did. In better days, the melting pot was sealed tighter than the skin on the squirt. Of all the plans to survive the calamity, it had to be stab weeds.
He cuts down every stab weed like there's gonna be a prize for it. If there's a core, he figures it ought to be deeper down. Core stuck inside one of those fancy cages. Some of the stuff lying around is downright dangerous. No break in a cage like that, but the kid tries anyway. Gotta find a way to spring it open. He throws a switch. Now what could possibly go wrong? Quite a bit, as it turns out. The cage starts lifting from the core ever so slow. All kid can do is wait. Shipments start falling in. Not every score is born bad. Some spring to the kid's defense. Judging by the movement of the cage, it's gonna take a little while. Some gas fellas take his corner. Birdie pop that needle form. 